All right, Connor, the enemy's advancing, but if you don't act now, they're gonna flank. Get him. Whoa. I don't wanna show you your face. It's okay, I'll cover my eyes. Get back in the fight, get back in the fight. Get some more ammo, hurry. Where is he? Where is he? Oh. 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 You got him good. Oh, he got you. Dang it, out ammo. Hey everybody, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. A lot of you have been requesting a Christmas video like this, showing the kids unwrapping presents and having a good time. And we think it's wonderful. We think it's very important to share gifts with loved ones and to spend time with family. Um, but if we're not careful, we might seem like we're focusing too much on materialism or flexing. We know that there's a lot of people who have had a very difficult last couple of years, um, and in some cases financially as well. And so we don't want to give the wrong impression that Life is all about presents and opening gifts and things like that. So we hope you'll stay until after this uh, main video with showing the kids having a good time and stay after for a message we want to share about Christmas. And we know everybody celebrates holidays differently and that's fine. We welcome everybody to, to listen and we're so grateful for all of you and your support and all you've done for our family. Thanks. This. You guys are making your gingerbread homes now, huh? <laughs> are, are you going to do any special types of designs or are you just going to use candy or what? I'm going to use all of this. All of it. What about you, Connor? Do you have any specific candy you want to use? Any kind of special design? Gummy bears. I want to place them around like it's in a forest. Gummy bear forest house. What about you, Ian? Do you have any ideas for what you want to do? I want to make it, let's say, really pretty and fancy. Sure. Oh, I'd love to do some piping that looks like icicles on the roof. Nice. Okay. Let's take a look at these. Wow, Britt. Very fancy. Connor made the little snowman. Isn't that nice? Oh, oh nice. Connor made the snowman hey, right that, there. I think the little I, I came out. And Ian, so you're working on yours? Let's check on yours. That's awesome, dude. I love it. And then the, the little snowflakes. snowflakes right here. Yeah, the little and gumdrops. And, and, the, and the little balls. See the ribbon candy? Yeah, the snowflakes. You all got houses? I have nothing. Well, we'll hey, you helped make the snowman. Unfortunately, uh, Connor's house cracked. <laughs> it didn't quite make it. It had a cracky foundation. Hey, but at least I have a snowman. That's awesome, dude. Very good. And what did Alistair do? He helped you with your house? Hey, I'm gonna help you. Oh, you helped? Yeah. Yeah. You helped Alistair? Yeah, yeah. Gingerbread. Gingerbread. Nice. Do you want to eat the gingerbread man? Ooh. Do you want to eat him? Why don't you eat, Why don't you eat him? Eat him, eat him down. Cookie. Give him a little bite. I'll bite his head off. It. Go arr, oh. like a tiger. Here, bite his head off, yeah. Alistair. No, it's cute. <laughs> he goes, no, it's cute. <laughs> it's so cute. You have such a good heart. <laughs> you like Christmas, Ian? You gonna go down the slide? Go down. Having a little Christmas break. Good job. Nice. Alistair, what are you doing? Are you eating snow? Yes. Ooh, snow. Is that yummy? <laughs> Do you like the taste of snow? You're so cute. So Connor built a sled, huh? So you built this one? This is the penguin police? 
Those are the sirens on top there. And he's got a steering wheel made out of a Christmas tree. And this one is Alistair's, and that one's Ian's. Yes, it yeah. is. Very nice. Yeah. Oh, no. So they got these little sleighs they're gonna race. Almost. Ready? Three, two, one, let go. <laughs> what? That's not fair. Uh -huh. Three, two, one, go. Pretty good. Oh, there you go. Merry Christmas. Today I'm the candy cane Hi. Hi. It's Christmas morning. We're in Christmas morning. Look at all of our friends. It's got better graphics. Two two players of plastic. Oh, and it does two players. Games. What'd you get? I got a Hot Wheels game. You got Hot Wheels! Yes. You got Super Speed Oh yeah. Yes. That's cool. I love it! I'm slithering. Harry Potter. You got me a hat and a scarf. Yeah. Santa now. Yeah, now she's Team Slytherin or House Slytherin. I'm Santa. That's what I ended up doing. Yeah. I am Santa now. What is Dear this? Santa. Yes. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw Metroid when I was a kid in California and it blew me out of the water. Yeah. Of course, I was dumb. Oh, he's, he's I was, still a I was liking Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels is the funniest game. Oh, I'm so happy. And I you? like all of right. this. Yes. Let's make sure Elf hat. Oh, careful. Careful. Little squirrel, look at you guys! You got your hot water bottles to stay nice and toasty at night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey everybody, we hope you enjoyed the footage of the kids having a, a great time and the family. Um, so I wanted to share a little bit of a Christmas message with you guys. And again, if you're not Christian or anything like that, that's fine. Um, you can either skip the video or just learn something new. So first thing I want to ask is, do you think things were better two years ago? three years, four years, five years, maybe 10 years ago? Or do you think things are getting worse? What about things 20 years ago or 30 years ago or 40 years ago? Do you think things were better back then? So I'm 40 years old as of this year, and I can tell you that things were never perfect, but I do believe that as a society, we are going downhill. And that's a, a very negative thing to say, I know, and I, I wish I didn't have to say that, but I feel that that's true. There have been improvements here and there. There have been policy changes here and there. I think, you know, mild improvements as we go along, but as society as a whole, do you really think that it's gotten better? The reason I ask this is because as we go into the new year, the date will change from 2021 to 2022. But does that date change everything? Does that mean society will all of a sudden be better? That your personal life will all of a sudden be renewed? That everything will just magically change and alter for the better? I don't believe it will. I just believe the date will change. Anything that we had going on the year prior will carry over into the next year. And so I want to share a message of what I think will help the world ultimately. The, the thing that will help the world the most. There's always little things here and there that we can do to improve the, the world. We can reduce our plastic usage or recycle. I mean, there's little things here and there that we can do, but ultimately I think the real issue is how we treat each other as human beings. So what you guys are seeing on screen is a scripture from the Book of Mormon, and part of it says, for they repented not of their iniquities, but did struggle for their lives without calling upon that being who created them. So more and more, I, I think religion is getting cast out of society. Um, less and less people believe in God or a supreme being or in Jesus Christ. And to me, I know correlation doesn't always equal causation, but I see society moving in a, in a negative way. I, I see a lot of people hurting and a lot of people are angry or bitter and they're just struggling. And when I read that verse, I think of all the people who struggle without calling upon God. When God is more than willing to help them out, they just have to ask because God respects our agency, our free will. So I think there's a lot of people who are struggling needlessly. They don't have to. There's this other scripture from the Old Testament that says, Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. 
In other words, a lot of people put their trust in their fellow human beings, and that's not always a bad thing. It's just that we're imperfect mortals. We have problems, mistakes, fallacies. Sometimes we believe in false things. Sometimes we're weak. Sometimes we let people down. Um, you know, people are imperfect. That's just how it is. And so when people ultimately put their trust in um, political leaders or they put their trust in celebrities or they put their trust, I don't know, in engineers or they put their trust in, in family members or friends, um, it doesn't matter who it is, eventually uh, mankind will let you down because mankind is imperfect. Um, much better is the person who puts their faith in God and who trusts in God and relies in a perfect supreme being to help them in everything, everything that they do. Um, because eventually everything that man makes will fail. If you think about technology around you and software that's buggy and roads that crumble and buildings that need repairs and the list goes on, leaky faucets, I mean, eventually everything we make will come to naught. And that's just one of the unfortunate things in our world. Um, but God will always be there. We can always trust in him. And that's a huge relief to me because as we see society crumble around us, we can always have that anchor, that stability. Now, putting your trust in God doesn't mean that all of your troubles and trials and issues will just magically disappear. If that were the case, I think everyone would be a Christian because they'd be like, hey, look at these guys over here. Everything they do just turns to gold and magic and they have no problems. Being a Christian doesn't mean your problems go away. In fact, and sometimes it means great personal sacrifice. What the Lord says in the New Testament is this. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So the point is, is it's still a yoke. You still have something around your neck. You still have a burden. But the point is, is that it's a lighter burden. It's much lighter than what the world would ask of you. Being... A Christian the majority of my life I had a little bad spell I guess what you could say I, I lost my faith um, but most of my life I've been a Christian I've been a Latter-day Saint and I can tell you when I've seen my friends around me and my associates and and others I've seen very hard-working people people who can do amazing things on their own um, but I think that the Lord has given me that extra push the extra leg up in you know the, the person I married who's behind camera here my wife Brittany um, in my children, in my financial affairs, I feel like the Lord has made a lot more out of me than I can make out of myself. So this last quote I want to share with you is what ultimately I feel this message is about, that the Lord can ultimately heal our world if we let him. It says, the Lord works from the inside out, the world works from the outside in. The world would take people out of the slums, Christ takes the slums out of people, and then they take themselves out of the slums. The world would mold men by changing their environment. Christ changes men who then change their environment. The world would shape human behavior, but Christ can change human nature. And that's the last message I want to give to you, that Christ can change who we are as human beings. He can change society if we allow him. He still respects our agency and our free will, so he's not going to force it upon us. Um, it's by invitation only. It's always been by invitation only. I hope you guys don't feel that... Um, I or anyone else is trying to force religion down your throats because it's not about that. It's just an invitation to live a better life, a more wholesome life, not a, a perfect life, not a life without trouble or sorrow or even tragedy. But when those things happen, it's so much easier to weather the storm. It's so much easier to get through those things. Even in your darkest hour, it really is a lot better. Um, I can say this as someone who lost a family member um, to suicide this year that it was a terrible tragedy for a lot of people. A lot of people who lost their faith in God, it was the worst possible thing you can imagine. And it was hard for our family too, but we were able to get through it and we were able to see the light at the end of the tunnel and feel ultimately peace in our hearts um, because of who we put our trust in. So I hope that message helps you in some way. I hope you guys have a wonderful holidays. Again, thank you so much for your support in our channel. Look forward to more uh, videos, autism related and we will see you in the next video.